was the right guy in the right place at a rockin' time. Rod back in the day when he was like super, super flashy. And he has the photos to prove it. That's an amazing photograph of Keith. It's pure f***ing Keith Richards, you know. <laughs> Charles Daniels was a fixture on the explosive Boston music scene in the late 60s and beyond. The resident MC at the legendary Boston Tea Party, longtime sidekick of rocker Peter Wolf, backstage friend of The Faces, invited on tour with the Rolling Stones, behind closed doors with camera in hand. And me, this little kid from Luverne, Alabama, who ends up in Learjets and limousines. Today, Daniels is facing serious health issues, making his current project all the more pressing. You see, as amazing as Daniels' intimate, behind-the-scenes photos of rock stars are, they're only a tiny fraction of the film he shot back in the day. I've always been kind of weird. It's, it's sort of like, I don't really need to see it as long as I know I have it. Daniel's longtime partner, Susan Bursler, had no idea how much material had accumulated over the years. So I knew there was a lot of film, but I don't think we realized there were thousands of rolls of film. More than 3,000 rolls of undeveloped film filled with unknown treasure. A GoFundMe campaign is underway to help raise money to process this historical gold mine. I don't think any of us thought it would take off the way it did, and that's amazing. I mean, he's had inquiries from people all over the world about his work now. So what's in the film canisters? Well, no one knows, and that is what has supporters so excited. There is this mountain, this mountain of undeveloped film and that's like you know King Tut's tomb you know because what's in there rocker Peter Wolf is among those who can't wait to see what emerges from his old friend stash I think this could be an amazing book Wolf met Daniels in Harvard Square back in the 60s when the future rock star was just a scuffling art student. There was a period of time where Cambridge was probably the hippest place anywhere. But Wolf noticed a funny thing about his new friend with the ever present camera. He never saw any pictures. At one point I said, Charlie, tell me the truth. Do you got any film in that camera? and because I never saw photos for a really long time. When Wolf's music career took off with the Jay Giles Band, Daniels was right there with him, introducing the band on stage. What do you say, let's hear for these guys, Jay Giles? And acting as Wolf's wingman when the aspiring singer was doing his overnight show on WBCN. This is Goofa Mama Tupa Hoppa Dupa listening to WBCN. Daniels is also responsible for tagging Wolf with his legendary nickname, the Woofa Goofa. He named me the Woofa Goofa, and eventually, somehow, I named him the Master Blaster. So it became the Master Blaster and the Woofa Goofa, doing it all night, doing it to you right on here, the radio, WBCN in Boston. Give us a call, don't you stall? We're going to have some fun until the midnight sun. Before long, Daniels found himself invited on tours with The Faces and The Rolling Stones, affording him intimate backstage access. I had carte blanche to shoot whatever I wanted to whenever I was hanging out with these people. Because Daniels was friends with his subjects, there is a refreshing degree of candor and lack of posing in the images developed so far. They all knew me and I knew them, so they basically let me do whatever I wanted to do. Now, at long last, Charles Daniels has decided that time has come to open up this priceless collection of time capsules. I'm totally excited about it because I know what I'm sitting on. And his biggest fans can hardly wait. I would love to see one sixteenth of what he has, no less the mountain of film cartridges undeveloped. I think that there is historically and artistically some very, very, very important stuff. 
Wow, what a story. And some uh, actually a grant from the Somerville Arts Council mm -hmm. got the ball rolling and a small batch of film was developed. And nobody had any idea what was going to come back, but there was some gold in there Ooh. already. Some shots of Peter Wolf's very first band, The Hallucinations. Shots of The Who backstage. And he knows he has shots of Jimi Hendrix backstage. He just hasn't found them yet, but he's going to keep looking. That's so cool. All yeah. right, coming.